Naming Methods. In this section, we are going to see the normal naming conventions that are to be kept in mind while naming a method in Xcode. First, we can see the syntax used for creating a method in Objective-C. Declaration of a method consists of the method type identifier, a return type, one or more method signature keywords, parameter types, and parameter names information. A method of a class in Objective-C can be of two types, instance methods and class methods. An instance method is a method whose execution is scoped to a particular instance of the class. In other words, before you call an instance method, you must first create an instance of the class. Class methods, by comparison, do not require you to create an instance. Instance method can be accessed only within the scope of a class. Here in the syntax of method declaration, the declaration is preceded by a plus or minus sign, which indicates whether it is class or instance method. Plus sign indicates that it is a class method and can only be called by a class. Minus sign indicates that the method is an instance method and can only be called by an instance of the class. The method identifier is followed by the method's return type. Here it is void that can be id, bool, int, string, etc. If the return type is void, it means that the method is not returning any value. The method's actual name, insert object, at index is a concatenation of all the signature keywords, including the colon characters, which separates the method with its argument. So the colon character declare the presence of a parameter. If a method has no parameter, we omit the colon after the first signature keyword. In this example, the method takes two parameters. A method name in Objective-C normally starts with lowercase letter and capitalize the first letter of embedded words. For methods that represent actions which an object takes, then we can start its name with a verb. See the examples shown, which implement these properties. If the method returns the attribute of the receiver, then name the method after the attribute, here in the example given. In the first example, the naming convention is right. But in the second and third example, the method name calc or get should come after the attribute name cell size to make it accomplice with the naming convention. In the method, make the word before the argument describe the argument. As per this, in the examples mentioned here, view with tag is the right way of naming, but tagged view is wrong.